Helena Williams from Monmouthshire County Council and I'm Heidi Davis from Paris County Council. Just sort of seeing what is going on around all the different councils and seeing if there's anything we can implement ourselves and work towards because I think we need to be progressing digitally and it's nice to get a lot of people doing the same thing in one room <laughs> to kind of bat ideas and things. Mm. Um, I think it's sort of to um, do sort of a bit the same. Uh, we're having a very good experience at the moment with digital um, transformation within Paris. Um, so it's sort of sharing our ideas and how we overcome some of the barriers um, to begin with and how it goes through with um, reviewing and everything, keeping the process going. Uh, but also, again, learning new uh, new things that we we might not have considered um, and what software is out there to, to support our digital transformation. Our sort of priority was looking around the demand for it um, and we were very we are very customer focused so we're looking at the customer demand what they wanted from us how we could deliver it um, so that, that was our main focus I know the um, financial side as well was a very much big focus of senior managers mm -hmm. cabinet counsellors etc um, but I would if it was me look at your customer demand look what your council want and what you would benefit from um, and go through the change with everybody involved so you're not up against those barriers that people want to change and they want to see the improvement from the customer's perspective. Yeah I'd say pretty similar I think making data-driven decisions is just sensible we need to make sure we know why we're doing it um, also making sure that we get people involved who are going to be involved in the final process. We've done quite a few workshops with around customer service and things like that recently and we've looked and made sure that the workshop was filled with people who work in those on the front line because I think we need to get the people who are doing the job now because they know the job and they're going to be the people who are probably most informed in how we can then change it and also then they're part of the process so it's theirs and they own it and I think that is great because then they're leading it forward mm -hmm. so we're going forward together rather than a sort of we're now doing this it's like a big everyone gets an input everyone has a say and everyone's sort of together on it I suppose. Um, a lot about cultures, behaviours, standards that we've got to meet and it's sort of juggling all that to make sure that we still want that end goal, we still want uh, the satisfaction of the customers, we still want to make that um, financial saving, uh, we want to move the council forward like sort of private businesses do. Um, so it's good to sort of get everyone's opinions on all the different um, barriers um, so that we can try and just move forward and achieve what we want to achieve as, you know, as quick as we can because we all know it's not a quick process for the local authorities to get decisions to be made and things to be implemented. My sort of council, Monmouthshire County Council, we, have, we do have a population that do speak Welsh but the majority speak English so um, it is hard and it's how we work with companies as well because we can get loads of products and we've got lots of different things that we could use but when we sort of say they also need to be in Welsh we get a bit of a which can then sort of hold us back a little bit so I think it's how we work to make sure we're progressing at a good speed and in line with other people other councils in England and all over the UK and things but we do have that sort of extra added stipulation I suppose that it does take us a little bit longer to get them to be seamless because obviously we need to offer it in Welsh and English. I want to know uh, what everyone else is doing digitally within um, other councils. Uh, I know that there's a lot about you know sort of waste and things like that which is what we've sort of worked on uh, but it'd be nice to see the other high demand areas in councils what they're doing how they're doing it especially maybe around income and awards with the council tax um, and things that customers have a lot of opinions on. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what they're doing around uh, council tax, housing benefit and things to see because we haven't quite done that yet on their ideas. Um, I work with the community hubs and adult learning and things like that in our council. So I'd quite like to look and explore the sort of ways in which we could move digital forward with those types of services and how we can kind of progress them forward alongside all the other elements of the council. Mm -hmm.